Okay, in this next video, we're going to teach you the method of skim coating just the sanding area. We'll get to the skim coating part in a moment. But when you're sanding, you want to make sure that you're paying attention to just these areas. Now your skim coat is going to fill in the divot, but your sanding is not going to be like this so that you're sanding this area down while you're sanding this area down. You want to just sand this area down so that when you rub your finger over here, you will not feel an indent. And that's what you're going to want to make sure. When I rub my hand up this way, this is lower than this. So that's why we have to put a second coat on. And you're going to find that out to be the case in most instances. So we put a second coat on and I'm going to take a brand new area now and show you this is a brand new area how you're going to sand this. Okay? So your sanding process should be just at first first do the edges. Make sure that this is feathered in to here. This, where your skim coat is feathered into here. After you're done doing that, and make sure you get up to the top of this course, after you're done doing that, then lightly go sand the body. Now, you're gonna see this type of thing here, and you wanna make sure that you sand them down. So I'm going to sand this down in a circular motion until it disappears. Okay? Same with this. You want to sand it down into a circular motion until it disappears. And when it disappears, it may be lower than, than the area which is the body. So your skim coat is going to most likely need two coats. And that's why we generally make a practice to do two coats, because the second coat will come out beautiful. Because you've set up a base for it to skim coat nicely. See, so I rub my hand over. If I feel an edge, I continue sanding. Once I don't feel the edge, it should be nice and feathered, then I move on, okay? That's your lesson in sanding. Thanks for watching.